Mga ka-Web3 crew, nandito naman ako ngayon sa event ng Web3.0 Open at alamin naman natin kung ano nga ba ang masasabi ng ating mga attendees. Yes, I am with Mr. Your name please? Uh, Jonathan Willis. How are you feeling today? This is amazing. I'm, I'm having a fantastic time at Token 2049. Uh, my colleague over here is uh, Isaac Wilson and we run a meme coin with utility, uh, which is kind of rare. Um, we've um, launched um, on LBank and on uh, a DEX and the interesting thing about our uh, token is that the more coins that people hold, the more access they have to the movies that we make. I'm a filmmaker, I've made about 44 different films, Hollywood movies, uh, smaller budgets and medium budgets. And we've tokenized to make Hollywood um, democratized. We're democratizing the film industry and that's our purpose. And it seems to be going extremely well. We're here to talk uh, to, to Bitmart who are sponsoring this event at MyGolf Dubai. Uh, with a view to listing on their platform very soon and moving on to other listings very very shortly thereafter. Okay, and uh, Mr. Your name? Isaac Wilson. I'm the co-founder along with Jonathan here. And what we love about this specific token project is that it's actually a meme coin with utility, which is very rare because what we want to do with democratizing film access is giving every single holder the ability to either be involved in a film, be an extra on set. You can fly to Dubai. We're going to be filming a movie called Crypto Heist at the end of this year. We're going to be doing a bunch of OG cameos. Uh, we can't really say the names yet, but if you go on YouTube or if you go on Twitter, you might find them. But we're going to be announcing that over the next couple of months. And every single person should have the ability to be in a film, regardless of your background, where you're from. That's what crypto is. It's financial freedom. I hope I'll be part of that uh, movie as well. <laughs> we would love to have you involved. That would be really good. We've got Our website is mickeymeme.com. And the reason why we chose Mickey, as in Mickey Mouse, is that the IP fell into the public domain on the 1st of January, and Mickey Mouse has been around for 95 years. Our project has longevity, so we want to be allowed for 95 years as well. So that's, uh, that's where we are, mickeymeme.com. So guys, what makes your company unique? What sets it apart from all the companies that also have the same field? Yeah, uh, nobody's actually broken into the entertainment industry yet with a crypto project, it, b giving that utility and actually a voice to go outside of just a traditional, let's say a picture or a JPEG for an NFT, giving access for every holder to get involved in films from regardless of where you're from is a beautiful thing. That's what crypto was invented for by Satoshi Nakamoto is peer-to-peer -peer transactional system. But think about that in terms of entertainment. So we're making a brand new category and we're tokenizing that category, entertainment. Do you have uh, anything or uh, any projects to launch or yes. any upcoming events? We, we have a slate of movies forthcoming, but the big one uh, is Crypto Heist. And that's gonna be a, a, a proper, exciting, glossy heist movie. I've made all sorts of movies over the years from romantic comedies and war movies and monster movies, etc. But I've never made a heist movie. And I love heist movies. I love Ocean's 13. I love uh, Now You See Me, The Italian Job. But I never made one myself. So we've commissioned a script. It's a phenomenal script, and that's the most important element of a film. Uh, we've got a fabulous range of uh, actors involved. We're going to have a Bollywood star. We're going to have an, East, an, an Asian star, probably South Korean, uh, and all the Western stars as well. So we're going to be East meets West, globally, um, uh, of appeal globally. Um, and it's going to have, like <coughs> Isaac says, every single person who's a crypto royalty figure is going to play a cameo in this film. Can't name them yet, but you know who they are. Um, and I, I think it's going to be fun. From a retail sector, people are not necessarily in crypto. They're going to enjoy it as a romp, as a really good film. But from the crypto people, they're going to enjoy that element as well. Plus, they're going to see, oh, 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 him. In similar way that Donald Trump appeared in Home Alone 2. And it'd be lovely to have you involved as well. I'm, I'm excited, even if I'm just, you know, a passers-by, like, I'm just going to walk and say hi at the camera, I will be, I will be glad with that. Yeah, so I have a last question. What do you think is the future of money? 
Uh, for me, it's global compute because what happened with, with crypto specifically with tokens that were backed by traditional assets, they never had a longevity to them because those assets were inflationary. Compute power is actually more valuable than oil. So if you have global compute power, you can use a decentralized governance structure to basically run the future of the internet, whether that's the meta narratives of the metaverse, of XR, VR, gaming, they all have to have some compute power to run those projects. And so if you can do that globally distributed through a decentralized governance mechanism, then compute becomes the most valuable commodity known to mankind. Ito lang yan sa FOMO, the future of money.